Okay, so we're trying to find the magnitude and direction of the electric force acting on Q4. So we got three different forces acting on Q4. Um, we'll start with Q1. Right, so Q1 is uh, at a distance of 49.7 centimeters from Q4. You can get that from the Pythagorean theorem. Um, and since Q1 is negative and Q4 is negative, that force is repulsive. Now this angle right here is uh, inverse tangent of 25 over 43 centimeters, opposite over adjacent, right? This side is 25. So that's uh, 30.2 degrees. And that means this force makes an angle of 30.2 degrees below the horizontal. All right, and then F2, this charge Q2 is uh, 43 centimeters away from Q4, and that force is attractive. So there's F2, this is F1, and then F3 is also attractive, so it points straight up. Okay, so I've got the directions. Now I need to calculate the magnitudes of each of these forces. Um, all right, so very quickly. So uh, if you haven't already calculated the magnitudes uh, of these forces for yourself, then I certainly recommend that you do that before you watch. So that calculation works out to be 0 0.146. And then if I find F2, that's going to be K, Q2, Q4 over the distance squared, which is 0.43. That works out to be 0.389. And finally, F3. is uh, K times Q3 times Q4 over that distance squared, which is 25 centimeters. So that works out to be 1.728. All right, so now we split each into X and Y components, right? So the X component of F1 is uh, 0.146 times the cosine 30.2. So that's 0 0.126, and the y component is uh, minus 0.146 sine 30.2, which is minus 0.073. Right? It's negative. Our, our sign convention in this diagram, of course, is that up is positive and to the right is positive. That's our normal Cartesian convention. Uh, as far as the x and y components of F2, uh, F2 points to the left, so the x component is minus 0.389, and the y component is 0. And then for F3, F3 points straight up, so it has no x component, and the y component is 1.728. Okay, so now we add up the components, and the total x component is minus 0.263, the total y component is 1.655. Now I just have to combine that into uh, the magnitude and direction of the final vector. So I draw myself a little coordinate system, and I go, two point, or I go 0.263 to the left in the negative x direction, and I go 1.655 up. And that's going to be my resultant force that I'm looking for at the total. So the magnitude of F total is the sum of the squares, right? It's Pythagorean theorem, I get that. And that's 1.7 newtons. And then the direction theta here is going to be some angle that's above minus x. And that's going to be the inverse tangent of opposite over adjacent, which is 81 degrees. 
Okay, so pretty simple vector combination, and we're done.